Hello guys, good afternoon. It is almost two o'clock Monday, uh, January 15, 2018, the day after IMAT's weekend. Uh, we had a great time. Um, it was awesome. It started last Friday um, and it went on to Saturday and Sunday. So I only attended Saturday, uh, which was amazing. We actually had a collaboration contest with Dermaflage. I'm gonna show you the IMATS um, Los Angeles um, magazine with all the exhibits and educators that were on schedule. And I'm also gonna show you um, all the goodie bags and uh, the swag that I was able to receive this past weekend. Hi, Betty. Hi, Chef Nessie. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's get started and, sh and walk you through a little bit of what, um, if, you, if you were not able to attend IMATS, what you missed. All right, so our first, um education panel is on page 26 and one of our first educators was adame who is our mc for the dermaflage challenge um and then you have uh of course amazing gyro who is uh, an awesome face and body painting makeup artist and then you have miss brow queen herself anastasia soiree and then right under her is uh, me, Andrew Velasquez. So I was also one of the educators for IMAS this past weekend. Nice, Betty. Keep watching and supporting your primo. Um, and it goes on and on. Um, we have Brandy, one of my students from Cinema Makeup School. Um, I mean, it's just endless. Oh, Danessa, I love me some Danessa. She, she was also at IMAS and had her own booth. Um, you guys, it was such an awesome weekend. So. Quick recap, Saturday I was on stage um, with Dermaflage and Cinema Makeup School. Um, so Adame was the MC, and I was competing against two of my Cinema Makeup School students. Uh, one, her name is Channing, and the other uh, artist, her name is uh, Bea. And so the challenge was to do a corrective makeup on problematic skin. So we had models that were assigned to us that had like pop marks, scars, acne, rosacea, and <clears throat> our job was to utilize Dermaflage in 30 minutes to do a beauty makeup that um, was appropriate for like a red carpet, fashion, all that kind of stuff. Hi Carmen, hi hair hooker. <laughs> hi uh, Aya. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of the Dermaflage product now. <clears throat> this was one of the bags that uh, we gave away this past Saturday. So as you open it up, it's pretty cool. Um, and it has pretty much everything you need. So you have your primer, your makeup remover, your brush applicator, your texture um, sponge. You have your actual Dermaflage fillers, which are here. You have your behind the scenes concealer and corrective palette, which was awesome. Um, your mineral powder as well. So my model, um, her name is Jess Bernal and she was awesome. So we did a rehearsal and I tried the filler and I was unsuccessful with it to be honest with you because her pop marks were not that large. They were really small. So I don't think the filler was um, sufficient enough to create a new layer of skin. Anyhow, um, I decided to use the behind the scenes concealer as a filler with the spatula and scraped it on and pretty much created like a new layer and then sealed it with powder. Um, I thought it looked great. I gave her some smoky eyes and I was able to finish on time. I actually added extensions to her hair as well. Um, and the other two students, Channing and Bea, did a really good job, um, you know, also correcting their model skin and um, making them beautiful. And they did like bronzy, rose gold. Um, so Bea actually ended up winning and our judges chose um, Bea according to the fact that she was able to use a filler. Um, so she won $1,600, $1,000 of scholarship money for Cinema Makeup School and $600 for Nigel's uh, uh, Beauty Emporium. And she also won a goodie bag with crown or Morphe brushes. Um, and I think there was some, another part of the prize. Oh, and Dermaflage, obviously. So <clears throat> anyways, Saturday was a success. It was awesome. I met a lot of the fans from American Beauty Star. I met a lot of 
of you know followers that have been watching my work and it was really nice to see everybody and connect with you and take pictures um and then yesterday sunday was our last day for imats and i was actually at the glamcore booth in hall three and you know i love me some glamcore so glamcore is that that light that i have in the back with the mirror this is glamcore it actually can get a lot brighter as you can see but for the daytime i just need it at a dim level and i'm actually utilizing um the multimedia um glamcore light right now as we speak for um my live video and then i also have the glamcore reiki mirror which is right over there so if you are looking to invest in good lighting every makeup artist every hairstylist uh lighting is essential and glamcore is the brand to use absolutely they're just so great with their customer service and um, really informative with their knowledge. And we had a great time with them yesterday. So I did a makeup demo um, at the booth and my inspiration was um, the Glamcore packaging. So I took my model, Caitlin, who is our color specialist here at the salon, and I utilized uh, silver leafing all over her forehead. I added tons of uh, metallic glitter on her head. Uh, we had this like nice updo with metal and accessories on it. Um, I gave her that teal like blue smoky liner with a winged out liner. And I also gave her the blue full lips. So she looked amazing. And Makeup Artist Magazine was actually able to shoot her uh, with the final product. So hopefully we're featured. Yes, yeah, show me your hearts guys, thank you. Uh, hopefully we're featured in the Makeup Artist Magazine for our Glamcore Inspiration Makeup. So do you guys want to see what uh, products I was able to get this weekend? Show me some hearts if you want to see some more makeup. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> First bag that I got, um, yes, hearts come through, uh, is Ardell. So I love me some Ardell lashes. So I'm going to just kind of like maneuver the camera down here. Wow. Damn, they hooked it up. Thank you, Ardell. All right, so we got um, our short black uh, trio um, bunch lashes, which I love because it's basically three in one and it says trio lash right there. These are my favorite because it's just uh, really easy to pick up with your tweezers. And then I also got two types of adhesives in clear and I love the black duo one because it dries um, really great and it looks extra smoky oh wow yes look I got also the trio three in one in long black so you can see the difference from the short black with the uh, other side so it's a big difference as far as like uh, intensity and definition <clears throat> looks like I also got the new Invisalign um, Faux Mink Wispies, which is awesome because everybody loves cruelty-free products. And um, some more individuals and some more um, Faux Mink um, Wispies. Hi Lexi, how's it going? So that's our first bag is the Ardell Lashes. Let's see what else we got at IMATS this weekend. If you guys are not familiar with IMATS, IMATS is the biggest international makeup artist trade show and it's amazing for networking, for getting uh, wholesale prices on amazing products. All right, so the next bag is from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Thank you, Pinky Rose. Hi, hi, Lamore, how's it going? All right, so this bag has, wow, this really cute, like big pink envelope. Oh my God, I love the packaging. Um, so apparently this is a beauty school and studio based in Sacramento, Northern California. And yeah, it looks pretty legit. So they have great packaging. <clears throat> I'm just going to dump it out. I think that's easier. All right. So let's take a look at what this is. Pinky Rose. All right. So we have, these are glitter wands. Oh yes. I cannot wait to use this. You guys know I love some glitter. All right, glitter wand. Wait, is this a lip color? This color is called Aquarius. Yes, it's a lip color. You guys, oh my God, that's amazing. Look at that color. 
and it actually smells really good too. So this color is amazing, Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Um, I can't wait to use this for a tutorial. So that's um, the first product, and it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you the variety of colors right there. All these gorgeous lip glitter colors. Yes, can't wait to use those. Who's gonna be the lucky model to try them on? All right, so moving on to the rest of the Pinky Rose bag. Looks like I have these small palettes. This one is called Center Stage. I'm gonna make the light not as bright, okay. Oh wow, these are gorgeous, you guys. Okay, so these look like bronzy eyeshadows that would work for a lot of different complexions. Look at that shimmer on the top. It feels almost like liquidy. Yeah, that's a cream shadow for sure. So cream shadows, we have our mattes and our frosty eyeshadows as well. That is so dope. I cannot wait to use Center Stage by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. All right, and this one has like a rainbow packaging. So when we open this guy, ooh. Okay, now that's, that's an Andrew palette for sure. Anybody that knows me knows that I love vibrant colors. So, I mean, it's literally like a rainbow. Look at that, stunning. I can't wait. This, I'm, I'm feeling like unicorn vibes, almost like, you know, like shaved ice, kind of. I'm gonna do maybe like a raspado makeup. <laughs> All right, what else do we have in this palette? Okay, more Pinky Rose. This is Rustic Rose palette. And this is pretty big. It's like, look at how big it is. It's like as big as my face, right? <laughs> All right, so we open it says, be creative, which I love. Everybody needs to be creative because it's good for you. And ooh, all right, you guys, this, come on, check that out. Luscious, warm tones and your cool colors on the bottom. Yes, I cannot wait for that. I just love like how it's very lightweight and it's sturdy, it feels like it's made really well, like the quality is good. Oh my God, there's two more. All right, so let's look at this one. This one is called Runway. Damn, Pinky Rose, you guys hooked it up. All right, this one is called Runway and it has all these varieties, some more warm colors. And I mean, it's pretty much a whole rainbow. And I like how they separate the texture from shimmer to matte. So you can see the difference in the quality of each um, eyeshadow. And the pigment looks like it's very saturated. All right, last Pinky Rose palette is right here. It's like, I feel like it's like vintage, like vinyl records, because it's like that big. <clears throat> this one is called Volume One. It's also by Pinky Rose. And it's a white palette with gold and black embellishment. Wow. So these look softer. These are definitely like more of the pastel and like neutral versions, so. This is gonna, yes, I agree. Um, uh, Ala V M U A. this is gonna be great for a kit. Um, all right, so that's it for the Pinky Rose bag. Thank you so much, Pinky Rose, for hooking it up. Can't wait to check out your school, hopefully, up north soon. All right, so let's put that bag away. Let's go to um, our black bag. This is by Ellie May. Oh yeah, Ellie Maya, sorry. Ellie Maya came over and gave us some stuff. Hi, Caitlin. So let's see what Ellie Maya hooked us up. <clears throat> you guys, if you see Caitlin right now, make sure you go follow her. I see her and she says, oh yeah. And there's a little hand. Oh no, oh yeah, it's from Stiletto Heels. Follow her too though. Uh, but Caitlin is our amazing color specialist and extension specialist and she is here based out of our salon in Glendale. All right, so Ellie Maya hooked us up with a makeup and brush shampoo conditioner. I've heard about this. I've been wanting to try this. So it looks like the directions say to uh, wet your brush gently, swirl in the pot, circular motion, swirl against the scrub, which is on the cap right over here. And then 
you uh, rinse and let it flat dry. So awesome, I can't wait to try that because I actually need to clean my brushes. Oh, and then, well, there you go. They gave us two brushes to try out. One with the flat top and one with a more rounded tapered end. Thank you um, again, Ellie Maya, this is awesome. All right, we have one more big bag. This is the Sigma bag, but I don't think there's only Sigma in here. I think there's other stuff. But let's start with the Sigma stuff. All right, so Sigma hooked it up with, um, oh, perfect, another brush cleaner. So I'll be using that. And our E56 shader travel brush. So that's also from Sigma. Thank you so much, Sigma. This is gonna be fun to use. All right, what else is in this bag? We have, oh, these two small, um, smaller bags. I'm just gonna dump it out. There we go. All right, uh, so this was walked over from, oh, uh, while we were doing the challenge with Dermaflage. Um, this is J Cats. All right, so let's open the first bag. Um, and the artist that provided this is Chantel. So thank you, Chantel, for hooking it up with this. So it looks like we have lip tonics. Um, lip color, which is like a pinky rose kind of glossy effect. It has like frosty elements to it. There's 3D delicious holo. Oh my god, I can't even say that. Holographic um, lip cream. So it looks like it's a moisturizer for the lips. Um, this is chrome eye mousse. So it's like a creamy wet eyeshadow. That looks awesome. Ooh. This is like a black brown glitter. So that looks really fun. And then J Cat's Beauty, all about that base eyeshadow primer. So thank you, Chantel, for hooking that up. Oh, and then of course you gotta have your, your gold copper glitter. So that looks really fun. Yes. Okay, so let's put that one away. There's one more bag from um, J Cat's Beauty. So that's, let me, let me show you their logo. If you haven't seen it, it's cute. It has a little cat for like the S. So J Cat's Beauty hooked it up. Thank you so much. Um, we have our Chrome Eyeshadow Mellow uh, Metal Palette and some more 3D Delicious Lip Gloss, Cream, and Eye Topper. That's really fun. Thank you so much. And lastly is the J Cat's U, U Glow Girl. That's the name of the product, U Glow Girl. Yes. So that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun on all sorts of skin. Awesome. And then I have this uh, carbon bake uh, blending brush by Sauce Cosmetics uh, with our friend over um, at Sauce. We had Red and Kelly who was able to hook us up with this awesome sponge. So thank you so much for that. Um, some more Dermaflage. This is a whole topical filler kit. So as you can see with uh, the before and the after, this is going to be awesome for really problematic skin if you have like a deep set crease or any pot marks. <clears throat> Am I going to be teaching any classes? Um, yes, I actually just taught a class this morning at Cinema Makeup School. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with Cinema Makeup School, it's one of the best schools in all of Los Angeles. I think in all of the world, to be honest with you. And uh, we had visitors from Japan. Uh, we had about, I think, uh, 15 students today. And actually they gave me a gift today. They're so sweet. They brought me this authentic, um, I guess, Japanese material cloth. They said it's like, uh, every makeup artist likes to use it as like uh, a drape for their models or their, um, their clients. Hi Lexi, I love you too. So this is from my Japanese students uh, seminar that I did this morning. Wow. This looks nice. Maybe I'll use it for like my station to like set it up. Yeah, I think it's really cool. And they said it's like an authentic, this is literally from Japan. So thank you to my Japanese students for this authentic Japanese gift. Love it. All right, so I have one more palette that I was able to get this weekend. And that is lastly, our Urban Decay Heavy Metals. Um, I actually had owned this one before, but um, I think there was a damaged 
eyeshadow. So this one is, wow, look at that packaging. So shiny and sleek. So it looks like you push it out and then you get, ooh. Okay, so this one is not damaged. There's a mirror so you guys can see the phone and you have the bronzy eyeshadows and then you have your cool eyeshadows. So yes, this is very smart because then I can just look at myself and then just kind of like put whatever color I'm gonna put on, you know? So this is gonna be awesome. <sighs> Thank you for watching so much, guys. All right, so also, um, again, I just wanted to thank everybody that was actually able to come to the Grand Corps booth and to our Dermaflage um, uh, seminar. It was really nice to meet all of the fans from the American Beauty Star Show and you know the followers that have been watching um, my career. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to come and say hello and want to take pictures. Um, I encourage everybody go to any kind of convention for networking to meet people like myself and go to other seminars. That is the best way to really progress uh, your technique and your craft and to network. We um, are in the capital of networking. Los Angeles is all about, you know, meeting and connecting with people. And that is how you're going to get the best work. Uh, for those of you that don't know a little bit about like what I do, I manage three calendars. So I have my salon here in Glendale. Um, I educate uh, for schools at Cinema Makeup School, Paul Mitchell and Co. Cosmetics. Um, and I also work on set for fashion, music videos, commercials, uh, TV, film. So I'm busy and, and I don't have an agent. I don't, I'm not part of the union. I don't have a manager. I do this all on my own by word of mouth, by putting myself out there and connecting with people. And so that's what I encourage all young makeup artists or hairstylists do is really put yourself out there into environments that support our community of artists and make sure you bring your business cards, make sure that you have a presence online and you have your social media on point. But also I would say to make sure that you stay present. And what does that mean? That means to be stimulated in real life experiences. So for me, I love to go to a museum, to the library, to the beach, and try to get inspired by different things or to a convention, you know, go to all the conventions that are coming up. We have ICE show coming up at the end of this month in Long Beach, so that's gonna be really fun. Um, sometimes it's not about just looking at, you know, Pinterest or your phone or Instagram. It's about getting out there in our community and really um, involving yourself and, and being stimulated. So I encourage every makeup artist to do that. Um, that's one thing that I want you to be challenged this week is to step out of the box and do something different. Get off of your phone, uh, go for a hike, go for a movie, go do something that's gonna stimulate you and really encourage you and inspire you to be creative and do something that you have not done before. Um, and I think that's the best way to like really stimulate your creative juices. And that's why I'm constantly around creative environments. I, I just like, I yearn it. And sometimes if I don't have it, I kind of feel off. So I have to always be um, involved in different scenarios like that that's gonna keep me growing. You know, I'm, I'm an educator, but I'm still a student. I will always like to learn and progress. And you know, I know that there's always ways to really progress and um, keep stimulated. So um, and that's what I really like about being a, a creative person. So that is my motivation for you guys today for our hashtag Monday Motivation Makeover. Thank you so much for joining me and I really appreciate everyone's support. Thank you for following me. Uh, message me, I will follow you back. If I haven't already, I'm sorry. Um, and stay tuned, make sure you email me for your ideas on a contest um, or a giveaway that you would like me to host. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, a free masterclass contest, but I'm still thinking of the exact rules and guidelines for it. So I love you guys. Um, email me any questions at av at andrewvelasquez.com. Take care. Bye.